Okay, this is all sprayed materials. This is coal ash, barium, aluminum, strontium, sulfur. It's called stratospheric aerosol injection, solar radiation management. And the media is not covering this at all. They don't want the pu public to become alarmed at the results of the fallout. They do it to cool the planet. It's without environmental impact reports, without local, local governmental insight, uh, oversight, without public consent, without majority vote of the people. Sprayed coal ash in your air. That's what it is. All this is to mimic the pollution typically caused by humans. That is the stated purpose, to spray particulates, nanoparticulates, microparticulates of things in the air that will block the sun, namely coal ash and sulfur. They could be spraying anything because the public is basically ignorant. The public has fed, has been fed the brainwashing, saying that chemtrails are a hoax. Even now, Harvard has come out promoting the idea of chemtrails to block the sun. This is the stated purpose of geoengineering, stratospheric aerosol injection to block the sun, to keep the planet cool. Yet, we have to breathe the fallout. You can see the lininess to this stuff. Out over the coast, we have lines of sprayed materials here. Up here, we see the lininess to these, uh, this haze. And if we look to the left here, we see lines as well. This is, these are all lininess, liney sprayed materials. The lininess gives away the fact that they've been sprayed, sprayed out by jets, by the back of jets. Hey, how's it going? Well, this is the, these are the documents that I, pre uh, I will be presenting tonight at the city council meeting to the uh, city council and mayor. These documents have also, also been presented uh, approximately two months ago. This one is the flaming arrow letter from the geoengineeringwatch.org uh, uh, website. It starts out, what if there was a monumental environmental threat you didn't even know was happening? This uh, is the flaming letter uh, flaming arrow letter from the geoengineering website. Uh, they have had this one for quite a while. As a matter of fact, I personally set it on some of their, most of their desks, uh, maybe even twice. This is a copy of uh, the front of the what, why the wor in the world are they spraying uh, DVD. It explains a little bit about what's going on. And then I pasted some other stuff from the geoengineeringwatch.org website. This is a request to, for the representatives, my personal request to the representatives to um, uh, back the uh, resolution to require public consent before the spraying. The geoengineering spraying is done. So this is a formal document drafted by Dr. Ro Dr. Rosalind Peterson uh, from the California Skywatch uh, Agriculture Coalition uh, Company. This is just a general warning letter about the uh, threats and how modern jet engines do not emit contrails. Um, and so, yeah, this, these are the documents I will be delivering. And uh, so, for the record, they have this, and we'll see what they were gonna, what they're gonna do. And so we've had 
see these and then over here we've had one fly by every every five or ten minutes by the time one would fly to this end another one would start over here and we can see the haze this is the haze in the air off the coast is the haze here's one right here a big you can see how it's split in two almost like two different types of substances um, so yeah it's This is the first clearing we've had in a few days. If you look over here, you can see one there. Flying, it's kind of hard to see. But this is the first clearing we've had in quite a few days. And look at look how much that that spray has spread out right there it's one single jet spray that is spread out and most likely it contains coal ash barium and strontium very high in aluminum uh, micro dust or nanoparticulates. These uh, this these particulates are moving due east. Due east, and we do have a little bit of wind. Uh, that could be pushing this these sprayed materials um, do have quite a bit of haze off the coast here with some definite moisture in the air you can see the moisture clouds down below the haze the sprayed materials are used to condense the moisture and keep it sort of at a low uh, atmosphere.